witness. Dear friends, in today's story, we will see a few other instructions Moses gave the Israelites who were near their promised land before his death. In the previous story, didn't we see what instructions the person who is becoming the king of Israel should follow? After that, Moses also reminded them of the rights of the priests and other instructions the Israelites should follow after possessing their promised land. The Lord chose the Levites and their descendants out of all the other tribes to minister before the Lord, right? The Lord also commanded that since God is their portion, they are to have no inheritance with Israel except for towns to live in and to graze their flocks. And they shall live on the offerings made to the Lord by fire. In the nations God will drive out before the Israelites, there were people who sacrificed their sons and daughters in the fire, who practiced divination and sorcery, and who interprets omens, engages in witchcrafts, and casts spells, and who is a medium or spiritist, and those who consult the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. And it is because of these detestable practices the Lord will drive them out before the Israelites. Moses had commanded that they should set apart three towns on either side of the Jordan River so that a man who accidentally kills another can save his life from the avenger of blood by fleeing to these cities of refuge. Not everyone can run into the city of refuge. Only if a person has accidentally killed another can he run into the safety of the city. But, seeing that there is safety in the city of refuge, if a man hates his neighbor and lies in wait for him, assaults and kills him, and then flees to one of these cities, the elders of his town shall send for him, bring him back, and hand him over to the avenger of blood to die. Also another instruction Moses repeated was that they should not move their neighbor's boundary stone in their inheritance. Moving the boundary stone is something that we still see today in our villages. This is something God forbid thousands of years ago. God also commanded that one witness is not enough to convict a man accused of any crime or offense he may have committed. A matter must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If a malicious witness takes the stand to accuse a man of a crime, the judges must make a thorough investigation and if the witness proves to be a liar, they are to do to him as he intended to do to his brother. The rest of the people will hear this and be afraid, and never again will such an evil thing be done among them. Moses also encouraged them, saying that when they go out to war against their enemies and see horses and chariots and an army larger than their own, they shall not be afraid of them, for the Lord their God is he who goes with them to fight for them against their enemies and to give them victory. When God is with us, we don't have to worry about the number of people against us, right? If there is any man who has built a new house and not dedicated it, or if there is any man who has planted a vineyard and not enjoyed its fruit, or if there is any man who has betrothed a wife and not married her, or if any man is afraid or faint-hearted, they can be excluded from the battle. If anyone notices a beautiful woman among the captives and is attracted to her, he is to bring her into his home and have her shave her head, trim her nails, and put aside the clothes she was wearing when captured. After she has lived in his house and mourned for her father and mother for a full month, he may take her as his wife. Moses knew that he would not cross the Jordan into the Promised Land to divide the inheritance or to repeat the commandments God gave him. That is the reason Moses is repeating all the commandments in the plains of Moab. Moses still hasn't finished repeating all the instructions. As we are finishing our story, if we, being the children of God, feel that we need to make a correction in any of these areas, let's try to do that. We will see you in the next video with more instructions. God bless you.